Christian aka Sneaker Talk called it one of the worst sneakers of 2019. Former Simpson called it as one of the most uncomfortable sneakers that he has ever worn. Guys, welcome to today's vlog. This is an update vlog for the Air Max 720. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we are drawing the winner of the Realme C1 tomorrow. So all you have to do is to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, and then hit the link down below for the rest of the mechanics. What are you waiting for? Go. In a nutshell, buy the Air Max 720 for the style, not for the comfort. Because when it comes to the style part, it is loud, it is chunky, it is futuristic, it is unique, it is very different. And the amazing thing is that there are more colorways available out in the market today in different models as well so you the initial release was the northern lights that was the pair that i actually bought but there were two new air max 720s that just came out first up we have i think it's called the c c forest some sort of like bluish and green that one is just a neck breaker a head turner it will grab attention it is a sneaker that will just command like hey look at me <laughs> in a very cool way but again very subjective depends if you like the color or not there's also an all black version i think they're calling it like the total eclipse uh, which i was able to see over at commonwealth so both sneakers are selling for a little for less than nine thousand pesos there are also new models of the seven that use the 720 airbag uh, this one i think came out during the all-star weekend in charlotte so it is color black with nice shades of yellow all around it with that massive chunky 720 air sole at the midsole of the sneaker so that one you can also pick up and check out it even has like zippers on the side to give it a little more character and personality so those are three of the new like air max 720s out in the market more will be coming more colorways all of those good things however there is a dark side to the air max 720 and that's where i would like to dwell on for today's short vlog first up I have to agree with Fomer Simpson. It's not really the most comfortable sneaker that you guys can pick up today. Why is that? I felt that there wasn't enough support in certain parts of the foot to give me that stable and firm ground feel as well as cushioning to be able to deliver an all-day comfortable wear. So that's my number one problem with the Air Max 720. It really can't be a sneaker that you can abuse for an entire day, especially if you're going traveling, if you're going like walking all over the mall. But hey, if it's just like a three, four, five hour uh, like wear and you'll be sitting frequently in between, then it might work for you guys. Number two, it's really that heel effect that I already talked about during my New Balance 997 review. The one from Tokyo Design, I'll put the link to that one down below. Uh, because the heel is so high and it tapers off sharply to the forefoot, the, there is a tendency when you are walking that gravity pushes your feet down so the edges of your toe starts to hit the edge of the sneaker which can be a little bit uncomfortable especially if the sneaker that you bought is a little bit tight so having said that i would suggest that you might want to consider going half a size up if you have wide feet like me but it should still work for you guys if you do have i don't know like narrow feet or normal feet to go through to size but again that's just something to be wary of and something you need to know before you pull the trigger and buy it and lastly i do find the sneaker to still be very expensive the air max 720 sells for a little less than nine thousand pesos here in the philippines that's almost 200 dollars us which is just crazy because it is a non-collab sneaker uh, I, I understand it would be expensive because of the technology needed to produce it uh, but hey that's a little too much now the great news is i have a strong feeling that we will be seeing 720s especially when they release multiple colorways throughout the year in outlet stores so in short team abangers muna tayo just wait it out Wait for it to hit outlet stores, wait for the discounts to come in, especially with the different colorways, and you should be able to nag a good deal of it, especially if you really, 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 really wanted it. Because in my opinion, at the current price point, at 9,000 pesos, it 9,000 pesos, it really isn't worth that cash, that amount of money. You can buy so many great sneakers that are so much more versatile easy to wear throughout the day, easy to wear for well, like uh, multiple hours uh, without getting any foot fatigue for much less. 
Links to the channels of Sneaker Talk as well as Fomer Simpson can be found down in the description box. Thank you guys for inspiring me to do this quick video. That's it for now. I hope you all had a great week and I hope you all have a great weekend ahead. Guys, this is the second vlog that I did for today. Please do check out my other vlog featuring DG Razon, our top 5 favorite sneakers from our respective collections. It will be linked down below in the comment section and in the description box. That's it for now. Peace. God bless. What's up? Boom.